Today I'm going to be going over why I believe AMC stock is about to make a huge turnaround. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC stock every single day. So today AMC just closed at $3 flat and I bought more. I am going to keep buying more if AMC continues to dip. But we traded flat throughout the whole day. We hit a low of $2.98, a high of $3.15. AMC is looking like it wants to rip from this level. It really is. Short interest is going insane. Short interest is up over 150%. In the past three months you know what that means more people are becoming bearish on amc what does the stock market do in general it likes to make people think one thing and then it does another thing people thought amc was going to squeeze you know everyone was thinking after amc shot up a thousand percent oh it's going to keep going what did it do it crashed 99 percent now that it's down 99 percent now that we're trading at the all-time low everyone's thinking amc's bearish let's let's short the stock AMC is down 99%. It's going to continue to drop. That's what everyone's thinking. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next? Come on. It's impossible for AMC to go bankrupt anytime soon. Do you really think AMC is going to keep crashing? That's what they want you to think. That's what Ken Griffin, this sick bastard, wants you to think. And that's not what I'm believing in. You know, I bought more. I will continue to buy more. I'm doing the opposite of what everyone's doing. You know, everyone was bullish on AMC when it was up 1,000%, 10,000%. Now it's down 99%. And everyone's bearish the opposite tends to happen that's all i'm saying none of this is financial advice don't take my word for it you know you guys do what you want with your money but i bought more today at three dollars and i will continue to buy more at this level this guy said hello bottom you're still here today i think this is the opportunity of a lifetime i really do i bought over 150 shares at three dollars i bought 120 shares at three dollars and 31 cents and i will continue to just keep loading up us people that are buying right now are doing the opposite of what a lot of people are doing they're shorting amc at three dollars i think these people have to be crazy they're just going with what everyone else is doing shorting the stock this guy said 1.32 million shares bought today at three dollars no price action diamond hand apes let's freaking go and then underneath this guy added the little bar of when the 1.32 million shares were bought this guy said amc retail you can't tell me with 48 percent short interest and hymc moving up and amc owning 22 percent of hymc each shareholder of amc just needs 66 shares each with worldwide retail retail must own amc 10 times over these are the numbers go amc i find it hard to believe that out of nowhere 30 percent of retail just sold you know we used to be 90 percent of retail owning the stock now Weibo shows us 36 percent is institutions institutions are loading the boat right now institutions are buying in amc at dirt cheap prices i'm buying with them with these freaking crooked bastards i am buying more this guy said jesus amc short interest going parabolic 49.89 million shares short so 147 percent up in the past three months short interest going absolutely insane like i said in the beginning this means people are bearish on amc everyone is bearish an increase in short interest often signals that investors have become more bearish while a decrease in short interest signals that they have become more bullish. Short interest is often expressed as a number or percentage. What happened when everyone was bullish? You guys know. What happened when everyone was bullish? AMC crashed. AMC freaking dumped 99%. 99.9% down. And now that we're trading at its all-time low, everyone is bearish. Now that you talk about it like that, does it really make sense for you to be bearish at its all-time low? Just think about it, guys. You have to know this makes sense. I don't know about you guys. None of this is financial advice. But I'm doing the opposite of what everyone else is doing. I already learned my lesson. Back in 2021, I started buying AMC at $27 a share because I was like everyone else. I was thinking AMC is bullish. If I wouldn't have averaged down, my average price would be $270. Now that everyone's bearish, I'm going to be bullish. That's how I'm seeing things. This guy said when it's April 4th and AMC shorts are realizing they are approaching 50 million shares short that they have to pay back. People are going to lose a lot of money. And there's going to be two types of people. People that sell while well, they're down, pay per hands that think it's going to go lower and people that are shorting amc stock right now at three dollars obviously if you shorted amc stock five days ago you're up but today as of april 4th we are trading at amc's all-time low and people are shorting amc right now more than ever i think they're crazy i really do and who knows i could be wrong that's why none of this is financial advice. You do what you want with your money. If you want to go short AMC, you do that. You know, I'm not telling anyone to buy, anyone to sell. Me personally, I am buying the dip. 
that's just freaking it. But that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because I do update you guys on AMC stock every single day. And only about 30% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. So what the hell are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe and stay tuned for tomorrow because I really do believe we are going to see a huge green day tomorrow on April 5th. But I'll catch you guys in my next video. As y'all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go, come on, push it.